Getting press for your business is important for increasing your visibility, boosting your credibility, and building your reputation. Now, this is what we do. We are a source for our local newspaper. Now, here we are on the front page where we have taken one of the worst drug infested, overrun properties in the entire county and we cleaned it up and we sold it to a homeowner that loves the property. We made the front page of the newspaper an eyesore no more. And we reference our website, which takes them to a landing page where they will give us their name, email, and phone number, which produces a lead, which we will then market to, to hopefully do business with that person at some point. Now, through these channels, you can write your own press releases, or you can even do what's called pay to play. Now, pay to play is where you pay for critical billing, critical placement on key publication. Now, many of you are subscribers to Realty 411. If you're wondering how Lee Arnold got to be on the front page of Realty 411, it's pretty simple. They call you and say, hey, would you like to be on the front page? And you say, well, yes, I would. And they say, well, it's only gonna cost you X number of thousands of dollars. And you say, okay, what is your readership? What is your subscriber base? What is the demographic of the people who receive your magazine? How many opt-ins to my landing page can I anticipate as a result of paying for front page placement on your publication? Right guys, it's all tied to leads. Even when I go to an event, many of you travel across the country and you go to real estate investment seminars. How about you go to a real estate investment seminar as a, as a vendor? How many of you guys have paid the 500 bucks to be a vendor and have a booth at somebody else's real estate investment seminar, somebody else's convention, somebody else's podcast? This all ties in to marketing. Now, there are free ways to get great publicity, and that is by submitting content to various distributors, local television being one of those distributors. Now, here where I live, we have a segment on Sunday morning news called Invest Northwest. And the host here, his name is Sean Owsley, and Sean will bring in business owners from around the area and he will highlight them. Now, if you're waiting around for the local news channel in your market to contact you and say, hey, would you like to be our guest? That's never going to happen, okay? I was on this show because I sent Sean Owsley an email and I said, hey, Sean, my name is Lee Arnold. We run a nationwide private money lending company where we lend money to investors to help uh, clean up blight and to eradicate some of the worst drug houses in communities all over the US. And I'd like to come on your show and talk to your viewers about what we do, how we do it, why we do it, and how they could participate and do it as well. Okay. Now, from the show, everything is pushing to our digital content, our landing pages, our websites, the goal to be the collection of name, email, phone number. Okay. Now, if you can't get the phone number, that's okay, but you got to get the email. Okay. Email is critical for the follow-up marketing sequence. Now, if you don't believe just how critical the email is, you are here watching right now because at some point you came to one of the thousands of landing pages that we have circulating through social media and every other place on the planet and somehow you came to us through one of those channels. I got your email address and we started emailing you. Some of you to the point of exhaustion, you're like, good grief, why do you send us so many emails? You wanna know why? Here's why. I heard this years and years and years ago from a mentor of mine. Here's what he said. He said, Lee, it is not your customer's responsibility to remember you. Now, this advice is for you just like this advice is for me. It is not your customer's responsibility to remember you. It is your responsibility as the business owner 
to make sure your customers don't forget you. Okay? Guys, when you get a lead, it is your responsibility as the business owner to market to that lead, to share information with that prospect, and to turn that interested party into a paying customer. That is your job. Because if you are not producing customers who are giving you money for products or services or goods that you are producing or creating or sharing, you don't have a business. Period. End of statement. And that's why some of you have been struggling to make any money because you're not selling anybody anything of value. Private money, real estate, you as the buyer of a great deal, 